Hi guys, this is exercise number 14 from our Color Draw Training course series. In this exercise, we are going to learn how to apply this nice effect on the font. As you can see that I have typography font here. This type of font you can find in your computer. If you have any similar font, you can practice with that. But if you don't have this type of font in your computer, you can install from the Google. There is a lot of free typography font. You can search and install in your computer and you can practice. But if you have some font already in your computer, you can just practice with that similar font you can choose. So let's get started. As you can see now, guys, here we have a simple plain text and uh, here we have applied effect. You can see that look like 3D and like this part, it is here going at the top and uh, this part, it is under. OK, as you can see the O uh, in this area, you can see that this part, it is going through it is under and here you can see also this shading the black shading here so this how we can apply this nice effect by using transparency in our previous lesson we learned about transparency in this exercise we are going to learn about fountain transparency that you can control with light and dark shade so let's get started i have here text you can see that this is what we can use let's move these things here to the side and uh, I will bring here this font so you can see that here we have font simple typography font and the name of this font is wolf in the city light you can choose any similar font for your practice I will choose some more dark color here okay so as you can see that in this area I want to apply shade here so this part it will be on the top so how to do this is very simple trick we are going to create object with a pen tool and then we will intersect with the font okay how to do that use your pen tool click on pen tool and simply i will click here and follow this path here this way okay so we created small shape here actually we need this intersected part here okay since this shape is selected we will go to the pick tool and select the font press shift key and select this font now you can see that both of them are selected so simply click on intersect since intersected part is selected we can fill with the black okay so it's clear now i can delete this object all right here you can see that uh, we have a black color from this side we need to use fountain transparency transparency and here we have once I click it you can see that uh, by default from left to right it is applied and we can change it is similar to the gradient the way we have done in our previous lesson what we need to do here we need to bring this black point here and you can see that in this black point once you will click you will see that you will observe here the control this is a transparency control here you can slide this back on this point it will be really white and this side it will be black and same thing once you will click here there is a slider okay so you can control on this point uh, we need black and we will move from this point we will move it we'll bring it here and this point uh, i want to bring it up here this way okay that is fine and as you can see now here we get this nice effect in our text it uh, shows like this part is on the top of this area here you can see that there is a black shade here so same thing we are going to do it here with this part go to the pen tool and carefully click to the corner here and that's it now we have object this is selected already and i will press shift key from the keyboard and click on the font now font and this shape is selected simply click on intersect so we got intersected part fill with the color black and delete this part all right now you need to select it go to the transparency tool okay and uh, here we have uniform transparency okay it is uh, applied this way and we need to fix a little bit and it's too dark here we can bring this point a little far and that's it you can see that now it looked like uh, this part is going through actually this is a separate part you can see that the transparency is applied to this Control z undo to go back to keep it in the same place so here we are going to do the same trick pen tool okay here we'll click and drag a little bit because uh, this is a little bit curved here
okay now we need to get this part this intersected part click on pick tool simply and click anywhere on the font by pressing shift key and click on intersect fill with the color delete this part uh, we will apply transparency so click it click on uniform transparency and uh, of course uh, we need to change this side now we need to bring this point here you can see that look at this all right okay couple of more variation I can show you here my main objective here is to teach you the tip I'm not going to create a very lengthy project for your time I will show you the trick and you can create your own project and you can practice this so let's start here in this area I will just make this O with a pen tool little bit here we have a curve so we'll click and drag this way all right okay so here we have this part i think it's too short here we can expand a little bit with the shape tool okay that is fine because once we will apply transparency it must be safe this area this side now it is selected press shift key and click on the font and click on intersect fill with the black and that's all now we can remove this and apply transparency okay move this white point here adjust it according to your need and uh, it is done now we need to apply from this side as well so again I will do the same practice I will repeat the process okay same thing press shift key and click on the font intersect with the black remove this and uh, select it okay now we need to change the side we can bring this here and this side we can bring it here that way all right so that's all you can see now no matter any color you want you can fill in your font now I want to change the color so you don't need to touch these parts just click on the font and change the color you can see the effect is still there because it is just black and transparency is applied so any color you can apply it will not affect your transparency you can see okay guys uh, the rest here we have in the n and we have t here but i'm not going to take your time because it is the same process you know already the trick how to apply this and try to apply this way to your font guys if you like my video please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once i will upload new video thank you